Steve Gamash with a Chef Knives to Go quick look product video on the Takamira VG10 Nashiji Santoku 165mm. And uh, this particular knife line is composed of a core steel, a VG10 stainless steel. The heat treat rating is about 61 Rockwell on that core steel. The construction is a stainless, softer stainless cladding over each side of that core steel. And you can kind of see the core steel just towards the edge there. It's pretty polished on the edge. This has a kind of a hammered, Nishiji means pear skin finish, and I'd call this more of a Tsushime, which is a uh, hammered finish. So it's kind of a combination of that finish. It's a nice hammer job on that for some texture. You got your logos here, some chiseled kanji. It's a little hard to see with the hammer marks, but it's a real cool looking knife. Then you got your Kasumi finish on the grind of knife going towards the edge of the blade. The weight on the knife is 5.5 ounces, pretty light. Blade length, 172, so nice length to it. Overall length, about 11.8. These are thin knives. This is not quite as thin as the R2 series. Not very thick as, at all, but not quite that thin. But back over the heel chin area is about 1.85 millimeter. Pretty much hold that all the way down until you get the grind of the knife right here, where you can see the grind start down to the tip where it thins out. The height on this blade is pretty generous, 46.4. And the handle is well executed, as is the other series. Um, black pack of wood handle, great fit and finish on it. Um, I've got just a tiny, tiny bump here between the wood and the metal bolster. It's very, very minimal. It's not quite as smooth as the Megaki series with the, the I think, the rosewood handles. But uh, again, it's very, very minor. Uh, I'm just comparing the two. But well done, Blade. Um, you've got pretty nicely relieved spine choil neck area over here so it's really right out of the box. These are very sharp out of the box. I'll give it a 6 or even 7 out of 10 sharpness uh, with very good bite on it so not much you have to do. Just pull them out of the box and start using them. And the um, let's see the balance point on this is kind of right about here and just a little bit behind your pinch grip. Extremely nimble knife. Uh, the handles on these are not too large so don't expect a big honking handle but they they work well for the size of the blade and still give you plenty of clearance because the handle is not too big. The profile on this knife is right at a pretty flat profile even for a santoku which is kind of cool so let's look at it on the board i like the performance of this knife this thing it's not quite as much of a laser as the r2 the Megaki series but it's pretty darn close and um, it's got a cool finish on it so this is a very good performing knife so there's your profile really quite flat at the back here. You don't slam into anything at the heel, but you got a pretty nice flat area there for considering it's a short Santoku. And you get about right there pretty high really before you start hitting the tip. I can get up that high without hitting the tip on the board. So it's a, it's a nice edge profile really for a variety of tasks. So not much I can say. This blade really performs good. Uh, it thins down at the tip where it needs to. And it's, it's a high performing knife and all stainless. Um, I'm, I'm very stoked about this. It's a really nice knife. It's fun to use. Great performer. Fairly, you know, pretty reasonably priced for what you get. And so another great knife from Takamira. So there you have the Takamira VG10 Nashiji Santoku 165mm.